we already know what are subsets subsets are set contained in another set now we will learn how to find subsets so let's take this example here b is a set with one element that is one apple so what will be the subsets of b well we have learned that empty set is a subset of every set so here also we one subset will be an empty set so let us draw an empty set inside b now we know that every set is a subset of itself so b will be a subset of itself so we draw b here so how many subsets did we get an empty set and the set itself so the number of elements of b here is 1 so we write 1 here and the number of subsets of b are 1 and 2 so we get 2 here well you can see that the when the number of elements of b is 1 there are only two subsets that is the empty set and the set itself now let's take this example where there are two elements in the set c so what will be the subsets of c let's write it in the roster form well two can be a subset only two only 3 can be a subset we have learned that empty set is a subset of every set so empty set will be here and the set itself is its subset so here the set itself will be its subset here can you write any other subset with this set we have written all of them we can also represent subsets on a venn diagram let's represent these subsets on a venn diagram only two can be represented as this subsets are set inside another set only three so we can draw the set here inside c the empty set how will you draw this draw it anywhere inside c with no element and the set itself so this set itself is its subset so how many number of elements are there in c 1 2 2 and how many number of subsets are there 1 2 3 and 4 so you can see when the number of elements of a set is 2 you get four subsets now let's try finding out subsets with the set having three elements here a has three elements 1 2 and 3 so what will be its first subset you know that empty set is a subset of every set so it has to be a subset of this set so first subset is empty set now let us write the subsets having one element so we can write only one only two and only 3 can we write only these many subsets no there can be more subsets as well like 1 and 2 2 and 3 and 1 and 3 or you can write 3 and 1 can you write any more subsets well of course we know that every set is a subset of itself so how can we miss that we have to write it the set itself is its subset now see can you write any more subset we have covered all the elements and all the combinations of subsets that we can write so there will be no more subsets here so what are the number of elements of a 1 2 3 what are the number of subsets of a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so when the number of elements of a set is 3 the number of subsets you get is 8 now let's 
represent the subsets on the Venn diagram. Here, this is the set, and we have to write the subsets inside the Venn diagram. So what was the first subset? The empty set. You can draw it anywhere. Subsets with only one element, that is one, only two, and only three. Now subsets with two elements, that is one and two, two and three, or one and three. One more subset was there, right? The set itself. So this is the subset of itself. Any more subsets can you form? No? So what are the number of subsets of A? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the number of subsets are 8. We had got the same answer when we had done this sum in Brewster form. So you saw that when the number of elements was 1, the number of subsets was 2. In the same way, when the number of elements was 3, the number of subsets was 4. And when the number of elements was 3, the number of subsets was 8. Did you observe any pattern here? No? Let's see. When the number of elements was 1, number of subsets was only 2. Now when the number of elements was 2, the number of subsets was 4, that is 2 into 2. 2 multiplied by itself 2 times. Now when the number of elements was 3, the number of subsets was 8, that is 2 into 2 into 2. Well, we have multiplied 2 here with itself 3 times. That is the number of elements. So now, if I write that the number of elements is 4, how many times will you multiply 2 with itself? 4 times 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, which will give you 16. So instead of writing all the subsets of a set having 4 elements, we could directly calculate how many subsets we will get. How? By multiplying 2 with itself. How many times? The number of times the elements of set are present, that is 4. So we know that instead of writing out all the subsets of a set, we can directly calculate it with the number 2. How? Let A be a set with 5 vowels of English alphabet, that is A, E, I, O and U. So wh what are the number of elements of A? One. 2, 3, 4, 5. Now what will be the number of subsets of A? You know that now we don't have to write down all the subsets. We can directly do this. How? By multiplying 2 with itself. So in this sum, we will multiply 2 with itself. How many times? 2 into 2, into 2, into 2, into 2. Why did we write here 2 5 times? Because the number of elements is 5 and we will multiply 2 with itself 5 times. So this can also be written as 2 to the power 5. Why 5? Because we have multiplied 2 with itself 5 times. So did you see one thing? When we have to find the number of subsets, we multiply 2 with itself how many times? The times number of elements is present. That is 5. So we get a new formula here, where the number of subsets is 2 to the power number of elements. So in this sum, what did we do? 2 to the power 5. Why? Because 5 is the number of elements. We have replaced this number of elements with 5. So instead of writing down all the subsets, we could just write down this formula, that is 2 to the power number of elements. Your number of elements is 5, so we have written 2 to the power 5. Now directly calculate. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. That is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 2 to the power 5. You will get the answer as 32. So instead of writing all the subsets of the set A, we have directly calculated how many subsets we will get. By the simple formula, that is, number of subsets is equal to 2 to the power number of elements. Here, in every sum, 
2 will be there as a constant and this will change according to the number of elements present in your set.